All right. So in this part of the course, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at two of the most well-respected data visualization sources out there. And we're going to start with The Economist. So The Economist is a weekly newspaper that has been published since 1843. So it's been around for quite a while. Uh, one of the things they're definitely known for is the way that they visualize data. Uh, it's a very well-respected publication uh, that covers topics ranging from finance to politics. So let's get started in looking at uh, how we can create graphs that are similar to the way The Economist creates graphs. So what I've done here at the top section is taken the liberty to go and look at a few things related to the way that The Economist does their graphs. Um, so I've looked at the color schemes, I've looked at the font, and I've looked at a few of the nuances that make The Economist graph so well known. So if we look at the background here, each of these numbers going across from left to right is the RGB categorization of numbers or the, the way the color scheme works out from a red, green, and blue perspective. Um, so we will be plugging each of these values in to uh, achieve the correct color scheme. So we got the background, the axis color, the marker color, which is represents, for example, here these dates as far as years are concerned. Then we've got the Economist Red, which is their signature box up here in each corner, uh, each left-hand corner of the graph. Their light blue color, which is here for the other category. The medium blue, which is they use here for the apps category. And then finally, this dark blue uh, graph uh, category here that's used for the music category. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is come up to Insert. And from here, we can choose the area graph. And just a plain 2D area graph will do for right now. So once we click that, it'll come up with our blank canvas here. And the first thing we're going to do is make this a little bit bigger. But then we can go ahead and right click and go to Format Chart Area so we can format the background. We're going to select the solid fill here and then go to the color and then choose more colors. From here we're going to go to custom and then we can choose our RGB values here in order to match the background color of the economist. So we'll start with 195 and then we'll go to 215 for the green and then finally for the blue 227. So let's click OK and then close. And As you can see this is starting to mimic the actual economist background here. Let's do one more thing before we move on. Let's remove the line in the background. So we'll go to Format Chart Area again by right-clicking, and then go to Border Color and do No Line. And we'll click Close. This just gives it a cleaner look. So the next thing we'll do is actually start adding some of our data. What I've done is created some dummy data over here. Now this is not obviously the exact data uh, that the economists use. We don't have uh, that information, but in order to make it look the same, I created some dummy numbers that uh, are a proxy for what I think the number should be. And we'll, you'll see it'll come out close to what the economist is graphing here. So let's add some data. Let's right click and go to select data. And then what we'll do is we'll click the add button here. And we can go to the series name. And let's start with the other category. Close that out, and then let's select some data here. Let's select the data points all the way down from 2006 to 2015. Close that out, and then click OK. Let's also add in the years here for the horizontal axis label. So we'll click Edit, and then we'll come down over here to our left-hand side and scroll down and bring all the way from 2006 to 2015 the years here. Let's click OK, and then let's click OK again. As you can see, this is starting to take shape. We're nowhere near looking like the Economist graph, but we're getting there. So let's delete some of these uh, peripheral items right now. We don't need the heading. We'll come back and get that. And then we don't need the legend as well. We don't need that right now as well. So next, let's format this white background here to be uh, the same color as the, uh, the foreground. So we go right click, Format Plot Area. Let's go to Solid Fill, and then it's going to automatically uh, bring in that light blue color or the economist background color because we previously selected that and that was our last color that we brought in. So we've got that all set. Let's click OK. 
Now, let's uh, click on these axis labels here. Let's do a little bit of bolding. So, control B for bold. And then again, on the uh, vertical axis, control B for bold. While we're at it, let's right click on this vertical axis here and go to format axis. You'll see that the economist over here has their axis broken out by twos. Right now, our major unit is one. We'd like to change that to two so we can mimic the economist. Click change that to two and then click close and then you'll see we are here. Um, we've got the incremental increase on our vertical axis of two instead of the one that we had before. So next, let's change some of these axis colors here. You'll see that the economist does not have a vertical line showing here. There isn't a line here. So let's do the same thing. Right click again, format axis, we can go to line color and let's do no line. Click close and you'll see now our line has disappeared so we're much more similar to the economist graph. Since we've got one data point in here, let's go ahead and format this data point to be similar to the colors that the economist shows for the other category. So right click, go to format data series, let's go to fill solid fill and then we'll come here and we'll go to more colors from the color selector. So the RGB values for the uh, light blue category here are listed as 95, 198, and then 245. All right, and then you'll notice one other thing if we come back over here to the left of the Economist graph. It has this nice blue outline here. So let's do the same thing on the uh, border colors. So we'll click border colors, and we'll do solid line. And it looks like it's say this dark blue over here will work well. We can go to border styles, and we'll change this two point down to uh, one point. Actually, let's go 1.5 just to give it a little bit of thickness. We can click close. So as you can see, we're starting to take a little bit of shape here as far as the um, graph is concerned. All right, so while we're at it, let's add a second set of data points. So let's right click, go to select data. Let's click add. And what we'll do here is change the series name to apps by clicking like that. And then we'll bring in the apps values. I wouldn't worry about these two blanks here. They're automatically going to graph as, as blanks, so we'll ignore that. We'll close this out, and then we'll click OK. And then we'll bring in the years, 2006 all the way to 2015. Click OK, and then OK. All right, you'll see we're starting to get a little bit of uh, extra data in here. So we right-click, go to Format Data Series, then we'll go to Fill, Solid Fill, and then we'll bring in these RGB values by going More Colors. And we'll get this medium blue over here. So 18, 147, and 212. That brings the medium blue. Again, we'll go to the border color, select solid line, keep it as that blue, border styles. Let's go to 1.5, just to bring in a little bit of contrast there. And then we'll click close. All right, we're getting there. Oops, actually, I see here that this is not a blue border color, but a white border color to give it the contrast. So let's change that. So we'll right click, format data series, border color, and we'll change it to white. There we go. There's the contrast we're looking for. All right, let's add the third data set. Right click, select data, add, series name, music, close that out, and then we'll select the data points all the way down. Click OK. And then we'll bring in the years. Perfect. All right, let's change this green to the Economist dark blue. Format data series, fill. The RGB values for this dark blue Economist are 8, 63, and 90. This also has a border color of the of white. So we'll change that to white and then we'll bring this to 1.5 again and click OK. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're starting to get a little bit closer to what the economist graph looks like. So one other thing I notice here is that the actual lines here are in white. So let's change that. 
let's click on the lines, right click, and we'll go to Format Grid Lines. From here, we'll choose Solid Line Color, and we'll change that to White. And then Line Style, let's change this to 1 just to make it a little bit thicker. Then click Close. Perfect. We are definitely getting closer. While we're at this, let's add some of the data labels that the Economist has here. So we've got Other, Apps, and Music. Let's start with Other. So we'll make sure to select the Other category, which is the light blue here. We'll right click and then add data labels. So you'll see that it actually brought in the numerical values here. We're not looking for that. We're looking for the series name. So we'll select the values. We'll select, make sure you select all of them. We'll go to right click. We'll go to Format Data Labels. And then we'll uncheck Value and click on Series Name. And then we'll click Close. All right, we may need to move this around a little bit, so let's bring that up to where it looks good. We'll do Control B to bold that, and then we'll come up to our text editor here, and we'll raise that to uh, about an 11, let's call it. Let's do the same thing for the apps category. Right click, add data labels. Click on the data labels, right click again, format data labels, uncheck value, click series name, and then click close. We'll move this over to here where it's more visible. Bold it using Control B, and then we'll come here and we'll change this to 11. One thing you'll notice over here is that this text actually is in white. So let's go back, go back up to the text editor and change this text color to white. All right, now we've got one more category here, which is the music category. We'll right click again, go to add data labels, Select the data labels, right click again, go to format data labels, uncheck value, click series name, click close. This is hard to see, so we'll change it to control B for bold, white, and then bring it up to 11. Perfect. We are getting somewhere. So our graph is starting to look a little bit similar to this economist graph over here. So the one thing you'll see that's missing is this heading over here. So let's add it. So what we'll do is we'll click on the graph and then we'll bring this down just to make some space on the graph. We'll click on the graph and then we'll go up to layout and you'll see this chart title over here. We'll click on it and then we want it above the chart. So we'll do that and then we'll move it over to the left just to left justify a little bit and then we'll name this. So this is going to be sing and happy song. Actually, let's follow the same formatting. So sing an app, happy song. And then what we also have is a subheading here, which is Apple Services Estimated, estimated Revenues, comma, in billions. All right. So let's left justify this home whole text by going to home then left justify and while we're at it let's change the size of this subheading here you'll notice that it is smaller than the actual main heading so let's do that bring that down perfect and then we'll just fix it a little bit by bringing it back up to the left hand side bring it up bring it up let's change this to 16. 16 will work. Let's bring this down a little bit just to give it a little bit more space. And then we're good to go. One thing you'll see here that's a signature of The Economist is this red rectangle here in the upper left hand corner. Just for aesthetic stake, let's do the same thing. So what we'll do is we'll come up to the insert menu. So what we'll do is we'll come up to insert and we'll go to shapes and we'll select a rectangle. And I'll do this outside of the graph for right now, and then we'll bring it onto the graph. So we'll create a rectangle that is uh, similar in size to the one shown down here. We'll right click and format that. We'll go to format shape. First thing we'll do is get rid of the line, no line. And next we'll do the fill. So solid fill. We need to go to more colors and choose the RGB values to the economist red, which is 230, zero, and then the last one is 25. So you'll see it's got that bright red that absolutely stands out. 
Now we can bring this onto our graph. We're gonna have to resize it a little bit. We'll put it in the upper left hand corner there. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Actually, you know what, we'll leave it like that. Perfect. Now what we've done here is we've created a graph that's very similar to the economist style graph that we see over here to the left. Now we've created some dummy data to mimic the way uh, it looks and the look and feel. But overall, we've created a graph that includes the signature styling of an economist graph. 